Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and uh, today's blade I picked up off a of mass drop. This is the Raid Ops EDCK, and uh, at the moment, I, I couldn't really find any U.S. dealers who are selling this knife, but um, if you're interested, watch uh, on mass drop, because they do tend to, uh, you know, if they get uh, overwhelming response to a certain knife or so, they'll do another uh, drop of it. Uh, real quick, we could get the, this is how it comes in this nice little box. Um, there's some pause and read for you on the specs. And real quick, here's a little pamphlet that comes in it, just telling you their philosophy, um, their mottos, a little bit about the con uh, company. The company's a fairly new company. It was uh, started in 2005. And uh, they have uh, uh, manufacturing in North Korea and Taiwan. And real quick, there you go. Pause and read if you want to see it. All righty. Uh, this knife right here is, uh, well, first of all, it, it, it's an attractive knife to me. I, I like the design. And um, it... It uses some higher end materials than what you normally get out of a three finger knife, which this is. Um, as you can see in hand, you got a nice little choil right there, and then you got these two wrap around. You get a nice little sturdy grip for the cutting that you'd be doing with a knife uh, this size. Let's get a quick look at that blade. It's got a nice stone wash finish. It's got CPM 154 steel, a steel that I like uh, a good bit. It's got a very, very attractive blade, kind of a sheep's foot Warren Cliff style blade. And on this side, you got made in Taiwan. So I love how, you know, they didn't banner up this whole, this whole little bitty blade with a bunch of stuff. It's nice and discreet and out of the way. Um, you got a uh, odd looking opening hole, kind of looks like a, an eye, a bird's eye or something. Uh, you got G10 handle scales. You got some nice little milling in here. Just some standard uh, uh, pivot and some torques over here. You got uh, almost a full length backspacer. You got some stainless liners and the stainless liner lock. Uh, if you can see inside of the knife right there, you have phosphor bronze washers, which is nice to see. Uh, the action on this guy is pretty darn smooth um let's see what else uh the lock up on it is a little bit later than i i would rather see it's uh probably about 80 percent but i'm not it's not an issue for me because this is not something you'd be hard using definitely there's no play whatsoever no side to side no up and down like i said the action's smooth there's your stop pin right there um and you're just a standard pocket clip. It's got quite a bit of retention, a little, little stiff. And with the G10, it kind of grabs on the pocket. Not terribly, but uh, definitely something to note. Um, and while, we, while we're talking about the pocket clip, a good bit of the knife sticks out of your pocket. And if you are, you know, riding this in the uh, hook to your pocket... Something to note, whenever you got such a small knife and that much is sticking out of your pocket, you know, it, it's not, not hard for it to pop out of the pocket, which I guess, you know, with this, this tight retention, not something too much to worry about. And I just, I just wanted to give you a, a nice little look at this. I'm not going to go too, too in depth because, um, if you want to see a full, you know, full review of this knife, I'm going to send you to my buddy Seven Ready Reviews uh, channel here on YouTube. He does a nice in-depth review. That's how I found out about this knife. So I'd like to thank him. Uh, I'm going to give you a few size comparisons. And real quick, before the size comparisons, one thing that I would have loved to see, being that you got a three-fingered knife, you know, that 
that uh, third finger is completely hanging off. I'm not a lanyard guy, but whenever you only have a three-finger grip, I would have loved to see a lanyard hole. That's one thing that I think that should have been added, even if they would have integrated into the backspacer or, I don't know, put a, put a small hole, add a, add a little bit more to the handle. There's your blade-to-handle ratio. Oh, and another thing that this knife is, is really good at is slicing. This thing is nice and thin behind the edge. It's 0 .020, which is the same uh, thickness behind the edge as uh, Spyderco Delica. So you know how that cuts. Real quick, I can demonstrate the sharpness. It came pretty sharp out of box. I'd say really sharp. I think I haven't tried it, but it feels like it'd be hair shaving sharp. There you go, making myself a mess. Um, with this blade shape, I, you know, I like, I love to, you can get some nice detailed cuts, putting your finger up here, outlining if you needed to put it down on a box and do some cutting like that. Um, let's see, can you do some cardboard cutting with this guy? Not the easiest in the world, but it can definitely be done, especially if it's not the thickest cardboard. But, you know, in a pinch, that's, that's what this type of knife is used for. Something that's not going to scare somebody, pull out a knife. You don't want to pull out this big whopping blade. There you go. Let's get a quick uh, weight on this guy, too. I'm, I'm forgetting everything today. I'm trying to shorten my videos up because I know a lot of you guys don't like to watch 13, 14-minute videos. Two ounces, perfect weight for me. Definitely a backup blade. You know, I, this is something I would definitely carry with uh, another bigger blade. Let's get some size comparisons so... You can have a reference to how big this is. This is another three-finger knife that I love, especially on a budget. There you go. This is the Kershaw Ember. Rick Hinder design. The Ember is a little bit smaller, not by much, but they have the same feel in the handle. Um, I don't know if I said it or not. This knife uh, came in at, I think, $60 on Mass Drop. So I don't know how much uh, they'll be charging once they hit the U.S. Uh, stores. Let's see another size comparison. Uh, this is a two-finger knife. This is the Spyderco Dog Tag Knife by Serge Pankchenko. As you can see, it's quite a bit larger than the Dog Tag Knife, but that is a small blade. Uh, Boker Toucan, is it, or Pelican? Somebody let me know down in the comments. I should have known that. Uh, it's it's bigger than this one. And one more knife, the Spyderco Dragonfly. And this is th these two will kind of function for me in the same way. Even though I can get a four a, a full four finger grip on the uh, Dragonfly. Dragonfly just an amazing knife. I want to get one in a little bit higher in steel because I'm not a fan of of their VG10, but That'll do it for this one. Like I said, if you want to see a more in-depth review, go to Seven Ready Reviews uh, channel. I'll put a link down to his channel down below. Uh, hopefully, if I remember, I'm not the best at that. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.